Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Are you ready for your class? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Selma. Welcome. Welcome. Are you ready? You. Yes, I'm ready. Is it raining where you live? No. It's not raining? Yeah, over, over here is raining. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, we're going to do a little review from the topic that we were looking at yesterday in yesterday's class. We're just going to review the topic, and then we're going to move forward. Uh, I would like for us to take a look at the video that we were discussing. If you save money, you will go on a trip. The video was related to the conditionals. Uh, the conditionals in the real conditionals. Please listen. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, well, who can give me an example? Who can give me an example using the real conditional? Who can give me one example using a real conditional? I will study English English uh, to weekend next weekend. Okay, okay. I will study English next weekend. Uh, but let's say, for example, let's look at the real conditionals real conditionals for example if i say to you uh, what would you do if you learn english who can give me the answer what would you do if you study english mm -hmm. or let me give you let me give you a couple of other examples if your friend forgets your birthday, what do you do? If your friend forgets your birthday, what do you do? What is your response? Who can tell me? If your friend forgets your birthday, what do you do? If you see a homeless uh, person, uh huh, I will get angry. I would get angry. Very good. Uh, what about if you see a homeless person on the street? Do you give them money? Or if your friend lies to you and you find out, what do you do? Or the last one, if you fail an important test, what do you do? If you get a great, a great grade on an important test, what do you do? So these are examples of real conditional um, present tense questions. So what I would like for us to do is I would like for us to take a look and uh, discuss the questions, discuss the questions. Let me give you some more examples. Give me just a second. Let me give you another example. I'm gonna put some examples here on the 
here on the WhatsApp chat. All right, did everybody receive the questions on the WhatsApp chat? All right, uh, listen, yes. listen and repeat. If your friend forgets your birthday, what do you do? If you forget your friends, your friends, what do you do? Um, if you see a homeless person on the street, do you give them money? If your friend lies to you and you find out, what do you do? If you forget your friends, ¿Cuál es esa teacher? Uh, la número, if you, no, if yes. your friend, if your friend lies to you and you find out what do you do, that is the third one, la tercera de la primera. Okay, the okay. next one, repeat. If you see a homeless person on the street, do you give them money? If you see a homeless person on the street, uh, do you if, think money? if you see a homeless person on the street, do you give them money? Uh, the next one. If your friend lies to you and you find out, what do you do? If your friends lies to you and you think out, what do you do? do you do? Very good. Repeat, please. Find. 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 Find, find out. Find, find out. Find out. Uh, the next one. If you fail, if you fail. an important test, what do you do? If you fail, if you fail in an important test, what do you do? What do you do? do, you do? If you get a great grade on an important test, what do if, you do? If you get a great grade on an important, important test, test, what do you do? What do you do? If you get a great Oh, no, the next one. If you forget your friend's, girlfriend's, boyfriend's birthday, what do you do? If you forget, forget your, your friend's, friend's girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend's birthday, birthday what do you do? Uh, what do you do? If you get a cold, what, what do you do, do, you do, you do if you get a cold? What do you do if you need money? What do you do, you do, do if you, you need, need money? Money. If, money? if you don't practice English, what happens? If, if you don't, don't practice, practice English, what happens? What happens? What happens? If you get money for your birthday, what do you spend it on? If you get if you money, get for, your money birthday, for what do you spend your it on? Birthday, what do you spend it on? All right. On. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. Raise your hand. All right, let me have Selma. Uh, Selma, ask Mr. Santos one question. If your friends lies to you and you find out, what do you do? If my friend lies to me, I will get 
and green. Thank you, Selma. Uh, Marlene, ask me a question. Uh, Giselle, ask me a question. Wait, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Marlene. Ask me a question. If you don't bring me a milk, I can eat my breakfast. Oh, okay, very good. If you don't bring me a carton of milk, I won't eat my breakfast. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Marlene. Uh, let me have uh, Brenda ask me a question. All right. Thank you, Brenda. Melissa, ask me a question. Okay, excellent. Melissa, Maria, ask me a question. Okay, I think that you guys can't hear me. So what we're going to do in this activity, I would like for you to answer and respond to the questions uh, in the discussion box. I would like for you to, one student will ask the question and then the other student is going to respond to the questions. Any questions? Any questions? Ah, okay. Eh, un alumno va a hacer la pregunta, así como estábamos haciendo con Selma, y el otro alumno va a responder la pregunta utilizando el real conditional. If plus the subject, plus the simple present. Recuerden, cuando estamos usando el real conditional, que es el que estamos viendo, el verbo va en simple present. Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay. Ready, let's go. Si está en un grupo que no están participando, por favor, me escriben WhatsApp. All right, I see uh, Janet. Brenda, Melissa, Maria, eh, I see eh, Edgar, Oscar, eh, I see Karen. All right. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I am driving. I okay. can participate in this moment. Okay, okay. Thank Karen, Yvette, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we have Melissa, Edgar, Oscar, Nimrod, Maria, Jenny. Uh, you guys can work as a group. Pueden trabajar en grupo. Ah, ok, ok. Vamos a ponerlo en el... Let me see. Cuatro. All right. Karen, four. Michelle, four. Ok, we're going to put Jenny on four. Nimrod, Saul, and Leslie. Ok, you guys can work as a team. 
Eh, María, tengo problemas de conexión dado a esta lluvia. Ok. Thank you, María. Oscar Zambrano, teacher, yo solo estoy de oyente. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Michelle, aquí está lloviendo muy fuerte. Me está sacando continuamente. Ok. That's ok. Eh, los que estamos acá en la sala principal, Karen, María, Edgar, Oscar, Karen y Beth, Melissa y Michelle Beatriz. Pueden quedarse aquí en el grupo principal y practicar juntos. Ay. Sí, aquí estoy, pero pueden continuar. Solo estoy eh, supervisando, que estén practicando. Ok. Yes, uh, teacher. Uh, uh, Jose, I have a question. How do you say uh, logra, uh, lograr? Achieve. 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 Oh. Achieve. Okay. If you try to say like a... Uh, uh, lograré comprar una nueva casa, porque la pregunta es... If we... You start saving money, what happened? Entonces, mm -hmm. intentamos de decir, lo, lograré comprar una nueva casa. Okay. You can say, if, if I save money, mm -hmm. I will achieve achieve my goal to buy oh. a new home ah okay excellent if i save money i will achieve my goal to buy a new home to buy a new home ah, okay mm -hmm. all right all right go ahead continue thank okay thank you teacher uh, my example my no, is my my question is okay. if I ate less, what what happened? Can you repeat again? Please? If I, como se dice comer, pero en I eat. Eat, or eat, eat, no, I, I ate. Eight. Eight. Ah, if I eat. Eight less. Oh. If I if I ate less, what happened? Ah, okay. Eh, recuérdese que cuando estamos usando estos eh, esta estructura, el verbo va en simple present. So usted va a decir. Eh, I eat less. Ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh, y usted puede decir, what will happen? ¿Qué pasará? If oh, I yeah. eat less food. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, Usted oh. pregunta, what? Primero sería el what happened. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasaría? ¿Qué uh -huh. What will happen if I eat, eat. Uh -huh. less uh -huh. Food. Let's put, uh -huh. So, aquí el verbo está en simple presente. Y usted yeah. puede decir uh, en simple presente, if I eat less food, I will lose weight. Si yo como weight. menos comida, voy a perder de peso. Voy a perder peso. That's right. Y todos los verbos están en simple present. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Leslie va a participar. 
So we got Leslie, Jenny, and Nimrod. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, right now, teacher. we are practicing the simple present to express the real condition in conversation. Perdón, okay. fui a tomar agua. Okay, gracias, Leslie. Eh, no son las que había compartido, es que como yo me acabo de conectar, eh, sí, eh, no sé. Sí, esas son. Uh -huh. Las que compartí en el WhatsApp. Solo vamos a practicar y... esas que compartió usted. Sí, pero si usted ah, tiene okay. otras que quiere incorporar, bienvenido sea. Entre más practica, mucho mejor. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir que si aprendo inglés, ¿qué va a pasar? If I learn English, what will happen? Eh, usted puede incorporar sus propios ejemplos si usted desea también. Ok. Thank you. If I say money, I can travel to LA. Ok, ok. Vamos a hacerlo así. Eh, Saúl, Nimrod, haga las preguntas okay. and Jenny respond to the okay. questions. Okay. Uh, what do you do if you get a call? Uh, yes, ¿Qué Jenny? hace si le da gripe? Mm, I take, I eat, eat, uh, chicken soup and tea and drink tea. I take uh, aspirin. I don't like to take uh, aspirin. I feel a little pain. And <clears throat> No sé, no la sé otra. si es su, su señal, pero no, no, no le escucho. O no sé si será mi señal la que está mala. A mí no me escucha. Sí se escucha. No, no le escuché lo que dijo. Mm. I, I eat uh, chicken soup and drink and take a cold, a, a hot shower. Me escucho. Okay. Yes, I listen. Now, uh, Leslie. What do you do if Miss Mar Podría repetir que así no lo escuché. What do you do if you need money? Escucha. Estoy Hola. teniendo problemas. Sí, es por la lluvia. ¿Usted sí escucha? Me too. Sí, le escucho, le escucho. Bien. Mm, okay. What do you do if you, you need money? What do you do when I need money? Mm -hmm. If you need money. No, oh, I am crying. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I... Mm, when I need the money, I pedir. I work hard. <laughs> I pedir. How do you say pedir? Ask. Uh, okay. I ask did my husband. <laughs> I can go along. <laughs> I don't work. Eh, la siguiente. 
Uh, if you don't practice English, what happens? I I break in the exam. <laughs> I don't learn. I don't learn. I don't learn. I don't. I can speak. Uh, I can speak. No sé cómo se dice fluido. Fluently. Oh. Fluently. Cierto. Oh, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Uno que haga la pregunta y otro que responda la pregunta. Two volunteers. Me, coach. Okay, Nimrod. Nimrod. You are going to ask the question. ¿Quién quiere responder? Okay. Nimrod hace las preguntas. Alguien las responde. Somebody, somebody. Que no esté de oyente. Yo. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jenny, respond. Uh, Nimrod asks the questions. Nimrod, quiero que elija cinco preguntas. Uh, Jenny responds. And then vice versa. Uh, Jenny elija cinco preguntas y Nimrod respond. Okay. What do you buy if I give you fifty dollars? Sorry, uh, can you repeat, please. What do you buy if I give you fifty dollars? Mm. I will buy a uh, pupusas and soda. Excellent. Next question. Nimrod, son cinco preguntas que va a hacer. Okay. Uh, what do you do if you need money? Do you okay? No, no sé qué significa eso. What do you do if you need money? Ah, I work hard every day. Excellent. Eh, solo que vamos a decir la oración completa. If, if I need money, I will work hard. Si necesito if dinero, money, voy a trabajar I, duro. I work hard every day. Okay, good. Okay, Nimrod, son dos preguntas. Faltan tres. Okay. Uh, what do you what do you do if you don't finish the, the English course? Uh, oh, Mr. Santos will get angry. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a joke, it's a joke. If I, I don't finish the English course, I pay in uh, academia, como se dice teacher? Uh, academy. In uh, academy, but I need to learn English. That's right. A lot of English, a lot of money. Okay. Uh, next question. What do you do if you get a call? Mm, if I have a call, I cook a chicken sauce and drink tea and sleep. All right. Creo que ya son cinco. Now, vice versa, Jenny asked the question, Nimrod answered the question. Cinco preguntas. Okay. okay. Mm. What do you do if I, I go to your home? Okay. 
can you repeat the, the question, please? What do you do if I go to your home? Okay. If you come to my home, I I will give you a a, a present. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Excellent. Good question. Next one. Uh, what do you do if I, como le digo, invitar? Invite. I invite uh, to take a coffee. Cup. If you invite me to take a coffee, I I will say yes. <laughs> um, what do you do if I am invited to exercise with me, a uh, workout <laughs> with me in the gym? Well, if you invite it, me to go to the gym i i will say yes <laughs> we will go to the gym <laughs> to work out um what do you do if uh, your your husband say will you cook can can you repeat please <laughs> what do you do <laughs> <laughs> what do good, you do good question you... good question don't get nervous <laughs> don't get nervous nimrod <laughs> what do you do if your wife say you cook will cook ¿Qué haría si su esposa le dijera a usted que le cocine así es la pregunta Así entendí yo. Eso, eso te intento decirle. Okay, that's correct. What would you do if your wife asked you to cook? Ask. If my wife uh, asked me to cook, uh, I will try because I I am I am a bad. I'm not. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I will say sorry. Okay. Order order Pizza Hut or Domino's or Papa John's. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Nimrod, for your participation. Excellent work, the both of you. I know that everybody wants to participate, uh, but right now I have to take the attendance. I'm gonna call your name. Uh, when I call your name, please say present. Voy a decir su nombre. Cuando diga su nombre, diga presente. Benjamin. Present. Excellent. Thank you, Benjamin. Uh, we're gonna, today is the fourth. So let us go ahead and take a look at the fourth. And Benjamin is present. Thank you, Benjamin. Uh, Brenda. Did I see Brenda here? I think I saw her. Present. Uh, Brenda, Brenda. Oh, there it is. Brenda, present. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Eh, Carmen. Present, teacher. Excellent, Carmen. Um, Edgar dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Eh, Elisa. Present, teacher. Very good, Elisa. Eh, Giselle María dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Eh, vamos a ver. Janet, yo creo que Janet dijo que iba a estar de oyente también, quiero ver. Es Leslie, María. Te dijo present. Oscar. Dijo present. Ok, ahí está María. 
present. Thank you, Maria. Present. Eh, no, Janet. Ahorita estoy buscando a Janet. Oh, Janet, ahí está. Present. Gracias. Gracias, ya la vi. Janet, thank you. Eh, vamos con José. Present. Very good, Jose. Karen Bernal. Present, teacher. Excellent. Karen Villanueva. Karen Villanueva. Vamos a ver. Estás aquí, aquí. Karen Elizabeth. Karen, Karen. No, no la miro. Eh, ¿No saben si escribió en el WhatsApp? Karen. Karen Molina, sí se reportó en el WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver dónde está. Dice, tengo problemas con el Inter. Ahí está, Karen. Tengo problemas con el Inter. Ahí está, dice, can't. This site can't be reached. Estrellita, dice. Ok. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ahí sí. I don't know if that she's not present, so I can't put her present. Ok. Absent. Absent. Uh, Leslie. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, Maria. Uh, Maria said present. Okay, okay. Thank you, Maria. Ya vi en el chat. Thank you. Melissa. Present. All right. Uh, Michelle. Present. Excellent. Neftali. Good job. Neftali. Present, sir. Excellent. Nimrod. Present. Good job. Oscar Santana. Oscar Santana. Is absent. Okay. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Santana. Sí. Y a mí oh. no me ha mencionado, teacher. Okay. Eh, Marlene, creo que todavía no hemos llegado a su, a su nombre. Ya voy a verificar. Okay. okay. Oscar Zambrano, present. Vamos a ver, Oscar Zambrano, yes, is present, ok, y Oscar Santana, Oscar Santana, ok, Oscar Santana is absent, all right, sorry Oscar, absent, um, Roberto, present teacher, Excellent. Eh, Marlene, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Sara. Present. Very good. Selma. Present. Thank you. Silvia. Silvia. Está aquí Silvia. En el chat. Silvia, Silvia, Silvia. María Santos. No. Ok. Silvia is absent. Silvia Tatiana, absent. Ok. Eh, Wendy. Present. Good job, Wendy. Yeni. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, so we got absent Sylvia, 
Roberto. And that's it. Good, good, good. Okay, guys. Uh, any questions about this topic? Any questions about this topic? If class. Uh, um, teacher, uh, just I have a. I have a question, teacher. Yes, Roberto. Uh, what, uh, what about if I use, uh, if I could or if I will? Okay, so that is that, considered unreal. 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 Conditional. Oh. For example, oh. if you say, for example, uh, if I could breathe, under underwater si yo podría respirar bajo el agua i would search i would search for the uh, for example atlantis. atlantis i would search for atlantis city at Atlantis City. Right. So in this case, that is considered unreal conditional, oh. not real, uh -huh. imaginary. All Pero right. El, el real conditional is el que estamos viendo ahorita. Por ejemplo, si tú dices, eh, okay, if my friend forgets my birthday, I will get angry. I will get angry. Okay? So this okay. is considered real. Real. Real, real okay. conditional. Porque la posibilidad que esto pase es alta. Real conditional. Uh -huh. En el real conditional se utiliza el verbo en simple present. Y en el unreal conditional eh, se utiliza el auxiliar would o could. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. okay. Sí, sí, tenía esa duda, teacher. Ok, perfect, perfect. Eh, ¿Le ayudó la explicación? Sí, sí, claro. Uh, uh, que el unreal es es solo por algo que no va a existir o es irreal correcto y y para y para el real es algo que que sí va a ocurrir verdad que sí va a ocurrir que las probabilidades que pasen Ajá. son muy altas so, son muy altas ah, okay. mm -hmm. es right, más teacher. real es más realista yes All okay right. I got good it. I got it good good thank you Robert another question Alguien más? Another question. Somebody, somebody. Question, question, question. Anybody, anybody. One question, one question. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next activity which is coming from activity 411. Read the clauses, match it with the appropriate sequence. Si ya lo hizo, compare sus oraciones con su compañero. Si no lo ha hecho, lo vamos a hacer en este momento. You, one student can share the screen. One student can share the screen, you will have five minutes to practice, you will have five minutes to practice. Let's go.
eh, los que se quedaron en la sala principal puede eh, practicar con su compañero y si está de oyente solo tome notas. Eh, uno puede compartir la pantalla. Sí, ahorita la voy a compartir, solo que no me había metido. Por ahora decimos 4.11. Okay, okay. eh, ahí está. Acá. Ah, uh -huh. ya la está también. Uh -huh. Is your eat less junk food? Salvino se. Eh, no, continue, sí, continue, continue. no, no pare, continue. Ok. Compare the, the answer. Ajá. Uh -huh. The first, if you eat less junk, junk food, you may lose weight. Ok. If you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Ok. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Okay. If you if you exercise, you mean feel healthier. Okay. If you don't get married, you'll have more money to spend of yourself. Okay. Good. Okay. Hay que terminar esta sección cuatro, ¿verdad? Y... All right, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. I want you to give me the answer to number one. If you eat less junk food, which one is it? You may lose weight. You might feel healthier. You'll, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. You'll have more money to spend on yourself. You won't be able to stay awake in class. Who can give me the response? You may lose weight. Very you may good. lose weight. Excellent. You may lose weight. <clears throat> Number two. If you walk to work every day. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Excellent. If you exercise, you're making your health. How do you pronounce this? The last word. Healthier. Healthier. More saludable. Healthier. Number five, if you don't get married, <laughs> you'll have more you money have to spend, have more more spend, money to spend yourself Excellent. and buy, all, you and buy all you want. That's right. Good. All right. Any questions in regards to this information? 
no. question no. in regards to this information. Okay. That's Let's okay. go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at the last one, which is 4.12. In this class, you will read an article about falling in love. As you read, you develop skills in reading for specific information. So for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to read this out loud. Lo van a leer en voz alta. In practice. Practice reading it out loud. And then we are going to discuss the video. Any questions? No. Okay, let's do it. If you have a question, please raise your hand and I will help you. If you have a question, please raise your hand and I will help you. Ready, let's go. All right, if you stayed in the session, in the main session, please practice with your partners here. Eh, yo sé que algunos los está sacando de la plataforma por su lluvia o el internet. Eh, that's okay. Intente regresar. Uh, hello, Leslie. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Do you have any questions? Um, no, but I don't know if Leslie have the... Uh, Leslie, can you hear me? Okay, so we got Marlene, Selma, and Sarah, and Janet. Please read the text. Eh, okay, Marlene leyó el primero. Okay, thank you, Marlene. Diría yo, y dice, if you're a reason, to may pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Okay. Charming. Okay. Uh, you find your, yourself uh, bringing this person into every conversation uh, when I was in Mexico. A reason, but often there's not. Quien sigue con el tercer. Sara. Okay. By in Thursday, in thing you uh, to avoid when a woman asks me to tell her all about football. And now she has fallen in love. Sai and TVS for Okay. Okay. So you falling in love, but falling in love is one thing. And staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? Still in love, if you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with 
you may not call him or her so often, but this person will never, nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person when you first fell in love. You were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust, trust him or her to accept you just as you are falling in love is great staying in love is even better finish other partner Hello. Hello. Lo volvemos a repetir. Lo que falta tiempo todavía. Okay. Yo leí. No voy a leer la segunda. I read the first paragraph. You think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our, our readers say. If you're falling in love, you find yourself talking to her, telephoning the person for no reason. You may pretend there's a reason, but often there's, there's not. You, you find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, I friend begin you interrupt, interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman has me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, say a TV sport announcer. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. So you are to be falling in love about falling to love is one thing and staying in love in love is another. How can you tell as time goes? that you are still in love if you stay in love your relationship will change you might not talk as much about the person you are in love with you may not call him or her so often but this person will never nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You think that you can be yourself with this person. When you first feel to love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now but. you can be
All right, all right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. We got to go. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Enjoy, enjoy the rain. Okay, see you. Disfrute la lluvia. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Night. Bye bye. Good night. Take care.